everyone, welcome to another Japanese in 5 where I take 5 minutes from your busy life of knitting things for your grandchildren and we learn some Japanese. Certainly you have 5 minutes. Today's topic is, it's number 21 and it is becoming something with Naru because everybody can become something if you try hard. Here we go. First we're going to talk about how to use Naru with nouns. This is a very, very simple method. You're going to say this noun becomes this noun. This is the pattern right here. Noun A becomes noun B. You'll see here that we have a ga and a ni somewhere over here. So ga becomes ni. This ga becomes ni become. It's on the screen. All right, let's look at our first sentence. Kemushi ga chocho ni natta. Kemushi ga chocho ni natta. The caterpillar became a butterfly. Okay, chocho meaning butterfly. Ni naru. The thing that you're becoming is marked with ni, and natta is past tense of became. All right, now let's look at a more polite sentence. Natta is informal. This is more polite. Tane ga, the seed, hana ni narimashita. The seed became a flower. And of course, this is something that is true no matter what. Kodomo wa itsuka otona ni narimasu. Children, Someday, eventually, basically is what we're saying here, itsuka, someday, they become adults. That's how you do it with nouns, very simple. Now let's look at na adjectives, all right? Na adjectives are basically just like nouns. It's noun becomes adjective, noun becomes, ad noun ga, adjective ni naru, okay? Maybe you have a friend named Mamiko. Mamiko-chan wa kirei ni narimashita. Mamiko became pretty. Mamiko ga kirei ni natta. Kirei ni natta. Okay? This is a good one. Nihongo no benkyo ga bendi ni narimashita. Japanese stud study got convenient. It became convenient. Why? I don't know. Maybe you were using a book all the time and you decided to go to yesjapan.com and it was just easier to sit there in front of your computer. Maybe you got a good app and all of a sudden, bendi ni natta. It got convenient. Here's a one a little bit hard to see, perhaps. If you study Japanese every day, it will become skillful. You will become skillful. Now let's do this with na, I'm sorry, e adjectives where the adjective ends in an e. It's noun ga adjective minus the e plus kunaru. This is a little bit complicated, but if you've learned how to say past tense, or negative of an adjective, you know that that minus E plus Q pattern is very common. Let's look at this. Let's say airline tickets got expensive. Koku ken ga takaku narimashita. Or takaku natta. Very simple. Takai means expensive. To say it became expensive is takaku naru. Past tense, takaku natta. The weather got cold. Tenki ga samuku natta. The weather got cold. Aki ni in fall, the weather will, little by little, get hot. Now let's do it with verbs. This is a little bit tricky, but not impossible. These are called e-verbs we're going to be talking about. We've never talked about e-verbs before, but what I mean by an e-verb, it's any verb that's conjugated to end in an e-hiragana. Wakaranai, let's call that an e-verb. They're not a class by themselves, they're just a definition for this lesson. Ikanai, won't go, don't go. Taberarenai, uh, to not be able to eat or unedible. Kaitai, to want to buy, okay? Now let's look at the pattern. It's the same as what we just did for the E adjectives. It's E verb minus E plus kunaru, okay? Let's look at it. Nihon no shashin o mita no de, because I saw a pictures of Japan or pictures of Japan, Ikitaku natta. I became to want to go, which makes no sense in English, but basically you didn't want to go before, but now you saw pictures and ikitai ni natta, which you cannot say, so you must say ikitaku natta. Here's one more. Itsu no mani ka mimi ga kikoenaku narimashita. Itsu no mani ka mimi ga kikoenaku narimashita. Before I noticed, my English is wrong here, I'm sorry, it says before I notices, but I should say before I noticed, I couldn't hear anymore. My hearing became bad. We're going to run a little bit over with our last one. This is using Naru with 
Uverbs. What's an Uverb? Well, again, it's just a classification that I'm making right now. It is any verb that ends in an U form here, Ghana, like Lu, Mu, Bu, any of those. For example, Wakaru, to understand. Ikeru, to be able to go. Notice that Ikeru itself is not a verb. It's a conjugation of Iku into the can-do form. But it follows what we're talking about in this lesson. If it ends in an U form hiragana, it's going to be able to use the pattern we're getting ready to set. Taberareru, to be able to eat. Now let's go ahead and look at the way you say to be able to become, to come this verb where we're not talking about e verb, we're talking about u verbs. It's u verb plus yoni naru. Hmm, that's complicated. You probably weren't expecting that. Yoni naru. Don't think about the grammar. Just learn it. That's what it is. You have to say that verb as is plus yoni naru. And of course, of course, you can conjugate naru, by the way, to anything you want. Naranai, want to become. Naritakatta, wanted to become. Narenai, cannot become. Once you've got the base, you can conjugate naru into any form that you wanted. Let's look at two sentences. You study Japanese every day, and now you can say this. Mae yori kanji o kakeru yo ni narimashita. Or kanji ga, which is more natural. Kanji ga kakeru yo ni narimashita. More than before, I can write kanji. What you're really saying is, I can write kanji more than before. And the more than before is that kakeru yo ni natta. Well, it's actually, it's mayori means more than before. But kakeru yo ni natta means you didn't used to be able to write it. Kakenakatta, you could not write it. But kakeru, you became kakeru. It's kakeru yo ni narimashita. And the final sentence, we are a minute and a half over. Skoshi ga kirai desu kedo. I like it. I don't like it a little bit. Okay, I don't like it. Oh, sorry. Read that wrong. Let me reread that. Sushi. Sushi ga kirai desu kedo. I dislike sushi. However, chotto taberareru you ni narimashita. I became able to eat it. Or I can now eat a little bit of sushi. That is it. Thank you for watching. You can join us on yesjapan.com to watch these live. Follow us on our Twitter. See you next time, and I'm sorry I took an extra two minutes and a half of your life. Bye-bye.